Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been about three months since my last upload, and so I just wanted to give you guys a little update on what was going on with my life since then. So in case you didn't know, I'm a senior in high school, so my goal is to just make the most out of the last year of high school for me. The last two years of high school were kind of taken away from me due to the pandemic, so it's really important to me to be involved in my school. So I was one of the captains of the swim team, so I had swim meets every weekend. I tried to go to every football game. My boyfriend's a football player in the team, so I want to support him. I went to things like soccer games, which I've never been to. I had a homecoming. I'm in National Honor Society, so I participated in some volunteer events. Overall, just trying to put myself out there and be involved in the school. Besides that, my other priority was just getting orders out. There were times that I closed my shop every other week because I couldn't handle all of the orders I was getting. Don't get me wrong, I'm super grateful. It was just a lot to handle on top of all of those other things I just mentioned. My priority was just getting those orders out, not really focusing on restocking anything or coming out with new products or filming YouTube videos like this. Overall, just super busy, but I hope to be able to film a little bit more now that I am done with swim and football season is wrapping up because I do really love filming for you guys and you guys seem to like my videos. So thank you so much for supporting me and subscribing to me over the past few months. I've gotten super nice comments from all of you guys. So thank you so much, it means a lot. So today I just wanted to shine light on something that I feel like not a lot of YouTubers or TikTokers talk about or show, which is not having any orders. So right now I don't have any orders for my Etsy shop which is totally normal. You're not always gonna have orders for your shop. There might be some slow periods or some periods that you're just racking in all of the orders. It really depends. In the past, I've shown videos of all of these orders I got from my shop. And the thing is I waited to film that video until I had enough orders. I feel like that's what a lot of people do. So I just wanted to show the reality of being a small business owner. You're not always gonna have orders for your shop. So I just wanna be real with you guys and give you some advice or things you can do to help your shop even if you don't have any orders. So I just wanted to show a little day in my life of what I do when I don't have orders for my Etsy shop. So let's go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to Joann's, Hobby Lobby and Michael's and restock a bunch of supplies. Okay, so I just went to Joann's and now I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby and Michael's. I got my list of things I need here because I know as soon as I get there, I'm going to want to buy absolutely everything in the store, so I'm going to try to stick to my list. This is by far my favorite aisle in Hobby Lobby. Just got back from the store and this is all the stuff I got. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just kind of reorganize all of my supplies, put everything away, kind of combine things. Yeah, just make everything look nice and organized. Now my macrame rainbow cart is all organized.
So I got some more of these charms today from the store, so I have to update my inventory to include these new charms so I know how many I have for both Huggies and necklaces. Okay, so I got these containers at Michael's today. So what I'm gonna do is put all of these beads in these containers to keep them nice and organized. And I just think it would be much more aesthetically pleasing. So enjoy this ASMR reorganizing of these beads. You know, look how pretty those are. Here's how they look all stacked up. And I'm just gonna store them in this drawer here. So I have the beads there and then all the extras in here. So I noticed my bubble mailers and my shipping cart is getting a little bit low, so I'm just gonna restock those as well. Another thing you can do if you don't have orders is do a bunch of preparation stuff. So you could do some, you know, cutting of tags or printing stickers, pre-writing thank yous, pre-packaging things. So when someone does place an order, you're more prepared and ready to package the order and everything is just more efficient. So that's what I'm gonna do next. So I hand make these little tags that I attach to my macrame rainbows, just it has my logo sticker but I hand make them all and I'm getting a little bit low on them. So I'm gonna make some more of these. It's super nice to just grab one of these, tie it to the rainbow, instead of having to make these on top of packaging orders. I like to make sure I always have enough of these because it'll save me a lot of time in the long run. These are all the supplies I use to make my little homemade tags. So I use this craft paper and then I use this little tag punch and punch out a bunch of tags out of the paper. And then I use the hole punch to punch a hole at the top of the tag. And then I printed these logo stickers using Avery labels from Walmart. And then I just attach my logo sticker to the tag. I'm not going to be talking on this part of the video. I'm just going to show you what I'm doing. So I'll just include the time lapse. Here's all the finished labels, so I'm just going to add them to my bin. Making your own labels at home will save you a lot of money. I used to buy packs of these plain craft labels for like a pack of 20 for maybe $6 from Hobby Lobby. And I can buy pretty much all the materials for 6 bucks, and I can make thousands of these little things. The next thing I'm gonna do is cut out these cards. I get them printed with six of my logo and then four of the jewelry care card. 
and then I just cut them out myself because it saves me a lot of money and I save on materials by getting multiple printed on one sheet. Alright, so it's getting kind of late, so I think I'm going to be done for the day. I just wanted to give a couple more ideas for other small business owners who don't really know what to do when they don't have orders. Again, there's so many things that you can do to improve your business when you don't have orders. For example, you could restock some products, you could research new products, you could make new products, you can take new product photos, you can update your website. You know, make your descriptions better and upload new photos or create a budget for your business. Recount your inventory to make sure you have everything in stock and the correct numbers. You can restock supplies like I did. Prep any cutting or sewing or products that you can ahead of time. So then when it's time to package or when you do get orders then everything is super efficient and you're just better preparing yourself for when the time comes. I think social media really makes it hard on small businesses that are struggling a little bit. When you see these people packaging all these orders, you can kind of get discouraged and think, you know, there's nothing I can do. I'm not getting any orders. Like my business isn't going well, but when you think about it, there's really so much you can do to make your business that much better without having orders. I find that times when I don't have a lot of orders, it does give me a chance to catch up on things that I was lacking when I was so focused on packaging orders. So taking a step back and just kind of reorganizing, restocking, and preparing myself is honestly kind of therapeutic and refreshing because it can get chaotic. So I honestly enjoy days like today where I just you know, went shopping and reorganized my supplies and prepped myself for future packaging and orders. With that being said, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this kind of video. I know it's different from my previous packaging videos, but I wanted to be real with you guys and show, you know, this other side to having a small business and the fact that Getting orders isn't always a reoccurring thing for businesses. You know, they're slow periods and I just wanted to be honest with you and give you a realistic day in my life video for days that I don't have orders. I know I gave a few tips in this video, but if you have any other input for other small business owners, please comment down below. Or if you have any future video ideas for me, please comment that below too. I hope to film more because I really do enjoy making these YouTube videos and you guys seem to like them too. So thank you again for all of your support and I hope to see you soon in another video. Bye guys.